Breakfast is placed on a table, a perfect breakfast consisting of chicken salad, cooked salmon, spinach, radish, and carrot miso soup, and yam soup. Itadakimasu! Sake and I blow and start our meal quietly. The sounds of our chopsticks echo. Sakura isn't the talk of the type, and I'm not versatile enough to talk while eating. Naturally, mealtimes are quiet. Usually, it's louder, but today, the loud person is not here. Wait, what? She must have been watching spy movies last night as she's eyeing us while hiding behind a newspaper. Fujime ignores Sakura's question. She's acting weird, but Fujime always acts in suspicious ways during breakfast. That's weird. Sakura must be used to it as she continues to eat with no particular care. Sakura prefers to make Western foods. She learned to cook Japanese food after she started coming here to help. Hujine and I prefer Japanese, so Sakura learned to make Japanese food for our breakfast. Now she's so good that she's almost surpassed me, her teacher. The salmon is especially good as it's cooked to perfection. Her miso soup is tasty, and she's shown some capacity even for making yam soup by grinding yams. Actually, I think this is the first time she's oh, made it. Sakura, show you tote. Hi. The... senpai. Damn, this man devouring that soy sauce. Man loves that salt. Or maybe he just didn't have any to begin with. She is so soft spoken. Is she really just not gonna speak? Her newspaper trembles. I put the soy sauce onto the white yam soup. After stirring it, I put it on the rice and take a bite. Mmm, the stickiness of the yam and the taste of the soy sauce. Mmm. What? Uh, rip, and then. What the hell? What? Fujine throws her newspaper away. Alright, you're an asshole. You are an asshole of a sister that's not really my sister. The female spy throws up her arms to show her happiness. What is that face? The hell did I do yesterday? When did I do that? Right about it shouldn't be coming from people though. だよ。おかげでこれから急いでテストの採点しなくちゃいけないんだから。そういうわけで急がないとやばいのだ。I got two words for you. F you. Fujine sits back down and finishes her breakfast quickly. Uh... And she runs off. There's something wrong with a world in which that thing is a teacher! What? I don't recall doing anything to her. I'm completely innocent. What is her nickname? Isn't it Fujine? 
藤村先生に謝らなかったんでしょう面目ないいつものことなんで忘れてたリップダメですよ藤村先生先輩にあだ名を言われるのだけは嫌がるんですからまた泣かせちゃったんでしょう Yo, I don't understand how she goes from like so soft spoken to mad in like one second. And I was awarded a student honor written on note paper, but I threw it away. Look, stuff happens, okay? Fujine is like a big sister for Sakura, so she's basically on Fujine's side. That's good in its own way, but I wish she'd consider my situation where I have to deal with Fujine 24 freaking 7. Fujine was originally an acquaintance of my father's, and she's been coming to the house a lot since I was adopted. Uh, she started to show up even more after father died, and she's now almost a dependent eating breakfast and dinner here. No. Maybe she's why I was able to make it on my own even after my father died. Fujine and Sakura and I are now the residents of the Emiya household. But I'm the only one who knows that my father was a Magus. It's said that Maggie must hide their identities. That's why I've been hiding the fact that I'm learning magic ever since I became my father's student. They say I'm learning, but I can't even cast a single magic spell properly. With this kind of skill, it wouldn't make much difference whether I hide it or not because it was how my father wanted things. I've trained secretly since then. I finish breakfast and prepare for school. I clean the dishes with Sakita while listening to news on TV. What, what is it? Sakura is staring at the TV screen. I thought she was staring at me, dude. Over the screen runs an exaggerated teletype reading. Gas leak accidents continue. It seems there was a big accident in the neighboring town of Shinto. It happened in a building in the business district. It seems a whole floor of people ran out of oxygen and fell on... What? They called it a gas leak, but this kind of accident has happened often recently. え、いや、別に。ただ、事故がシントで起きているなら近いなって。先輩、シントの方でアルバイトしていますよね。してるけど、別にそんな大きな店じゃないよ。今のニュースみたいな事故は起きないと思う。Uh, Sakura's worried, but it's not a risk I can completely ignore. Gas leak can happen in any building. On top of that, it hurts to think that hundreds of people are suffering. It's said that the accidents are happening often because of defective construction work during the rapid development of Shinto. Whether that's true or not, I certainly don't want any more... Twice every time?! How thorough of you. Sakura boasts with pride. Yeah, I've thought so before, but Sakura's a bit off too. 